Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? We all know when you reach for a sandwich, a burger, or pretty much any prepared food in the gas station, you're playing poo-poo Russian roulette. And chances are, after you consume one, you'll be praying in a matter of hours that you can squeeze your butt cheeks tight enough and long enough until you can find a restroom before the inevitable happens. And that gas station petri dish you had for lunch is playing Alien vs. Predator in your gut at once out now. A few months ago, I won the lottery when I bought and tried the Deli Express Extra Extra Large Charbroiled Patty with Cheese from a local gas station. No, I didn't win the lottery because it was good. I won the lottery because it didn't create havoc on my digestive system. But with over 2,000 milligrams of sodium in the burger, it would be hard for bacteria to survive. But since I'm a glutton for punishment, for you, the people, and only you, the people, I'm going to try another gas station burger. Why? So you don't have to. My daughter's boyfriend, Big Kenny, picked up this 9.35 ounce, big ass bacon attic cheeseburger at another not so local gas station for $3.99, which they describe as beef charbroil with cheese and bacon, whatever beef charbroil is. The picture of the burger as a whole looks great. But as we've discussed before, food manufacturers catfish us, the consumers, worse than people on a dating site. Ah, boogeyman! So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this burger isn't going to look as good once we unwrap it. Big ass bacon attic cheeseburger. Because who doesn't like bacon? A huge juicy beef patty, sandwiched between two flavorful slices of cheddar cheese infused with bits of smoky bacon, topped with even more bacon, and then finished off with our world famous sesame buns. So here's the ingredients, and there's quite a few. The third ingredient in the fully cooked beef patty is TVP, which I expected. Then the ingredients for the world famous sesame buns. Then the ingredients for the pasteurized cheese food, which they described as flavorful slices of cheddar cheese infused with bits of smoky bacon in the description. So is it cheddar cheese or is it cheese food? And then finally the ingredients in the bacon, which seem typical. The 9.35 ounce big ass bacon attic cheeseburger has 840 calories, 51 grams of total fat, 23 grams of saturated fat, 2 grams of trans fat, 80 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,310 milligrams of sodium, 62 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, 10 grams of sugars, and 33 grams of protein. Now normally I would say 1,310 milligrams of sodium is a lot, but this big ass burger is basically health food compared to the Deli Fresh extra extra large charbroiled beef patty with cheese which had a whopping 2,020 milligrams of sodium. This burger was bought over a week ago, which would have been before February 17th and it still lasts until February 27th. But who knows how long it was on the shelf before Big Kenny bought it for me. It's kind of scary these foods last that long just refrigerated. Let's get our big ass bacon attic cheeseburger unwrapped and see exactly what we're eating. Now the late great Houdini himself would have had an issue getting the sandwich open. It's easier to get into a TSA secured airport than it is to get into this burger. So there's what our big ass bacon attic cheeseburger looks like. And it does pretty much look like the burger in the picture. Minus the bacon. I can't see bacon. I need bacon. Where's the bacon? If you love bacon as much as I do, let me know in the comments and smash that like button. Now let's deconstruct our burger and see what's inside before we heat it up. Um, what is that? Who and why would anyone call this bacon? That's a travesty to all the pigs that died to make this so-called bacon. It looks like a brain that's been steamrolled. Other than that, I'm at a loss for words. Underneath the ground up pigs that died to make this so-called bacon is a piece of bacon infused cheese food. Then we have the star of the show, the rotary branded four meat slurry concocted patty. You didn't really think the propane king himself, Hank Hill, was grilling all the frozen burger patties for us, did you? Nope, these burgers and other so-called grilled processed foods are run through a rotary brander. The one good thing I do see is congealed fat, so there's still some hope in this burger. Then finally, we have the second piece of bacon infused cheese food. 
The only way to reheat this burger is to microwave on high for one minute and 30 seconds. So into the old nuker it went. Actually, into the new nuker it went. My old microwave gave out, so I had to buy a new, super improved microwave. After one and a half minutes, our big ass bacon attic cheeseburger is ready to enjoy. For the purpose of the video, we cut the burger in half. As we cut through the burger, the bun felt tender yet firm. Not hard or tough like some buns can be when they're microwaved. Once we cut all the way through our cheeseburger, it didn't really look too bad. And all the cheese food melted perfectly. We grabbed one half of the cheeseburger for a closer look in anticipation of the first bite. Now this burger appears to be pretty greasy and that's not really a bad thing. Burgers should be juicy and to an extent greasy and messy. This burger is both. So into my mouth and down my gullet it went. The top bun was perfect, not hard or overcooked whatsoever. The bottom bun was a little bit soggy. But then the texture of the burger came around. Normally, four meat slurry concocted burgers feel like you're chewing on a moist mattress in a nursing home. But this burger's texture was different and somewhat light. I mean, you have this big meaty patty that you expect to have a good meaty texture, but it was more like chewing on a circus peanut and quickly disintegrated. The most surprising thing of all so far was the burger was really lacking in flavor, which was very surprising. I figured maybe I got more bread than burger in the first bite, and that was why it was pretty bland. So I tried another bite. Unfortunately, with the same result. Pretty bland, and I didn't taste the bacon in either bite. So we tried a piece of the squash brain by itself. Here's what it looked like up close. The bacon by itself, and then the bacon with the cheese. And I really feel so wrong even calling this bacon. I took a bite of the bacon and it was the most unbaconly tasting piece of bacon I've ever tried to taste. Very, very bland, just like the burger. Now, let's look at the burger a little closer. And you can see it's plenty moist and a little greasy. Usually a good combination that makes for an enjoyable burger. So I tried the burger on its own. Again, I found the texture very unmeat like but not spongy, something I typically find with four meat slurry concoctions. But just like the first two bites, there was very little flavor, which was surprising. Before I give you my final thoughts, let's look at the bottom bun, which was the grease receptacle for the burger. Look at that. So here's my final thoughts for the big ass bacon attic cheeseburger. It was definitely a big sized burger, but that's where the big ended. You would think a big burger had big flavor, but that wasn't the case with the big ass bacon attic cheeseburger. It had very little flavor, which was the case with the bacon and overall burger by itself. The one and only positive I found with this burger was the top bun. It was pretty good. World famous, I'm not so sure about that, but it was good, which actually saved the big ass bacon attic cheeseburger from an unrateable rating which is why it gets a very disappointing 1 out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.